Hello Beertubers and welcome to the next winter slash Christmas seasonal themed beer review with me, Peter the Master of Puppets, in this sort of small Christmas calendar looking at winter seasonal beers which I've done the last few years. Today guys we're going to be looking at a local beer. I thought I should review at least one or two local beers in this kind of Christmas calendar. And you can probably also hear my voice is a little strange and that's because I was at a metal festival this past weekend and kind of lost my voice from the, or metal festival, metal concert, and lost my voice from all the singing. So uh, hopefully you can hear me. And also, not very Christmassy or looking at all yet, but we will get there slowly progressing, or slowly when we progress longer into December. So the beer in question is from a local brewery called Tisto Poikus, and this is their 2014 Yule Ale, or Christmas Ale. What they do with this beer is that they make a different ale, Christmas ale, every year. And uh, this year it's an Irish red, uh, Irish red ale, it says American slash Irish red ale. It's because they use more traditional, uh, kind of, a, a, a malt bill for a traditional Irish red. And then they use Cascade hops in there, along with the first gold, to make it a little more of a modern interpretation of the style. Yeah, I've reviewed a handful of their beers, amongst others their Lipschitz mm -hmm. Porter. And if you follow me on Untapped, you'll know that I drink that beer a lot. That's like the cheapest, best uh, local beer we can get. Or yeah, the, considering the price and what it is, it's really good. Wanted to drink more local beer, but we don't have many local breweries here. So, uh, but hopefully that will change in the future. But yeah, got the Tista Jule Ale 2014 poured, and I don't know. I think this is only available in Denmark. Sorry guys, but. We'll have to deal with that. One of the some local beer. But there it is. Nice copper color. Nice carbonation. I can smell a little bit of hops it. Nice kind of one finger beige-ish head. Let's take out the aroma. And a sweet caramel malt. Uh, toffee. A little bit of a sugary note. It smells definitely like Irish red. Almost like a chewy breadiness. Um, the citrus that's there is kind of slight. There's like a classic Cascade kind of note. It smells like more Irish red with like a touch of like American hop. A little bit of orange, a little bit of citric notes, but maybe some fresh cut grass. It smells very British actually. It smells like one a traditional kind of British or a British ESB or maybe Irish red as they say it is, uh, just with a little kick of hops. Kind of like when you find some of these more traditional UK breweries that try to do a little bit modern beers with, by adding some American hops, but they don't go like all the way. <laughs> kind of like Trooper with Iron Maiden, for instance, or yeah, this is the one I remember. But um, it smells nice though. It smells like a nice kind of traditional, slightly modern uh, beer. That would be great for the fatty Christmas foods because it's not as, you know, sweet and syrupy and all. More refreshing. And then also, by the way, I forgot to mention that it's on 5.8% alcohol. But let's give it a taste, guys. Cheers. Yeah, very traditional <laughs> on the flavor. It tastes much more like a traditional Irish red, probably with a little more bitterness. Medium mouthfeel, slightly chewy, slightly dry as well. Flavors, caramel, toffee. Maybe an almost slight metallic twang, but that might just be me. Uh, there's a little bit of grapefruit, a little bit of citrus, and a little bit of orange. Those are the hot, hot flavors that dominate, but they feel like traditionally kind of UK, as I talked about, trying to be a little more modern without being too modern. <laughs> uh, but that's still nice. It's very drinkable. It's fit for pretty much most palates, I think. It's uh, it's not overwhelming in any way. Caramel, the caramel notes, toffee notes, it's got a good kick of bitterness on the back end. Not insane amounts, but it's definitely got a good kick of bitterness. And this would work great, great with like traditional Danish Christmas fare, Christmas foods. And also probably like UK and Irish food, Christmas foods and, and US ones for that matter, because they tend to be quite fatty. But yeah, that's about it. Very simple beer, but really refreshing, nice and drinkable, and not like overly sweet as usually some of the more traditional Danish breweries tend to do, you know, very sweet and, and Belgian inspired Christmas beer. So it's pretty cool to find something more hoppy and modern, especially from a more traditional brewery like Tista Bokus. But yeah, rating wise for the 2014 Tista Jule, 
I'm gonna go with 75. It's a good beer. It's not offensive. It's a great, it's an amazing. It's just a good, solid beer that everyone can drink and it, I think, will work great with a traditional Christmas food table, also Christmas lunch table. Definitely let me know what you think of the Tista 2014 Yule if you've had a chance to try it. Stay tuned for tomorrow for the next episode of the little Christmas calendar thing. Uh, stay tuned for that, guys. As always, remember to come subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter, and I'm gonna say cheers. And I'm gonna see you guys in another video.